Yeah, it's your boy Don Figger, baby, giving it to you as usual, this cool little state of the game, part 10, with a good friend of mine, man, attorney Robert Ross, What's up, baby? entertainment oh, yeah. attorney extraordinaire, and the place to be, you know, just uh, talking about the business, and uh, just going to give you a little pointers on the business, man, and uh, why it's very, very important to have an entertainment attorney, so, so you know, Rob, tell me a little bit about what you do. Uh, where do I start off at? Um, I'm DC-based. Uh, have an office in New York. Have an office in London. Um, I do a lot of international publishing. That's the core piece of my business. Um, really, one of the things that I'm really working on right now is really trying to put together a corporate branding system for a lot of clients that I'm working with right now. This is the first stage of the industry, or first time within a long time where the industry is allowing you to pretty much own a lot of the things that you're involved in. Traditionally, labels don't want you on the ownership piece of it because that's where the leverage is in terms of the money that's being generated. So I'm all about educating, more importantly, making sure that clients understand their brand and understand their market work. Just as an athlete that's playing ball every couple of years, they take the free agent route so that they know exactly what they're worth in order to be able to determine what the marketplace should be calling for. And that's one of the things that artists sh today should understand. Not only what their net worth is in terms of what they are worth to the, to the music industry, but more importantly, what their brand is worth. Because that's where the residuals come. That's what takes care of your kids. That's what takes care of your education. That's what allows you to be able to live old and live well in the, bu in the business that we're in. Wow, wow, that's right. Hey, uh, so what, what companies have you worked with? Uh, oh, boy. Um... I've done stuff with Bad Boy, Nappy Boy, which is T-Pain's um, label, um, Jive, Zamba, Dev Jam, Vivendi, where a lot of you may not know is owned by uh, Universal right, Records. Right. Um, well, actually owns Universal Records and uh, Sony, um, EMI. <laughs> Pretty much everybody in the industry I've touched in one way or another. Right. And uh, I've been doing it since 95. So right. I've watched the industry change drastically from ownership to now a level playing field. Well, well. What would you, uh, advice would you give to an artist right now that's trying to get in the business independently? What would you suggest? What route should that artist take? Ooh, uh, virally is very important because the viral concept of your business is really the most safest or the most safe route that you can go because you're able to control the tone and the temperament of what you're putting out there. Virally, which is one of the most important thing that labels look at, they look at views either on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, they look at all of those individuals as key, or they look at all of those key indicators as potential clients or potential consumers that will give them the ability to be able to market to them. So if you have, let's say, 300,000 views on YouTube, but meanwhile, you're simultaneously involved in other aspects of online. And let's say you have three or four different revenue streams that are coming in. Labels look at that, and what they do ultimately is they look at you as an entity, not just as an artist anymore, right. which right. changes the dynamics of ultimately what you're offered in terms of a deal. Right. Now you're looking at a partnership versus simply as being just an artist on a label. Right. And that's ultimately what you're looking at, because what we do, this is a business. Right. Creatively is one part of it. Right. That's the fun part. Right, that's the fun part. <laughs> the business side of things can get a little sticky if you don't have your team together. So my recommendation, long story short, to folks that are out there that are viewing you is first get your business together. Get your team together. Incorporate your business. Make sure that you pick out a name that's easy to remember so that that name can be clear. And then ultimately that name is going to be your branding outlet. And that name ultimately is what's going to bring you the revenue that you're looking for. Make sure that it's not a name that's tagged on dealing with someone else because it can very well be some issues with trademark and copyright issues later on down the line. And that's when you come see someone like myself and then that's when I start charging someone like yourself. <laughs> so, right, right, you know. Right. Well, with that said, man, you know, uh, one last question. Like, why is it important to have an entertainment attorney when you're doing this? Well, you know, the, the running joke within the entertainment business is an entertainment attorney is someone similar to like an insurance salesman or like car insurance. You only need it when you're in, when you're in trouble, okay? <laughs> right. Same scenario. Look, guys, 
we are the backbone of the business. A lot of what goes on within the business, uh, uh, you know, on the contractual side of the business, most bit, oh, most record label executives that run labels, let me tell you a little secret. They're entertainment attorneys, okay? Folks like Clive Davis, folks like, uh, you know, um, Kadar Massenburg, former president and CEO of Motown, um, you know, um, Irving Azoff, a lot of these names y'all need to Google because these individuals shaped the type of deals that you're signing today. You know, uh, an entertainment attorney is a very integral piece of your business because at the end of the day, everything you do contractually should be locked in on paper. And we're the individuals that are the architect of that, of that paperwork. And without us, if you're not utilizing someone like us, then ultimately you find yourself in a situation where a verbal commitment, he say, she say, it's on paper, or different dynamic. So, you know. I'm easy to be reached, www.randrentertainment.net. Uh, my, my email address is real simple, uh, randr68 at gmail.com. And then you can reach me at my office at 1-888-556-4736, extension 1. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, y'all. Take if, care, guys. If you didn't get that information, you know you can always hit me on the inbox. If you need an entertainment attorney... I got one for you right here, Attorney Robert Ross, great guy, great person, man, definitely in it for the love as well as the business and someone that takes care of business. So, no stay in the game, Partier, you know what it is, Dave Burnett, Armand, Queen Equality, you know how we do it, Sister Falana, you know the drill, you know the crew, we do it every day, all day, peace, love, respect. Take care, guys, peace. Stay in the game. All right. My man.